Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set from CAT 2020, slot 3 DILR. It says that XYZ organization got into the business of delivering groceries to home at the beginning of the last month. They have a two day delivery promise. So they deliver within two days. And what is the condition that they are uh, an order booked on a particular day may be delivered the next day or the day after. So that means no delivery on the same day. Okay, so if you book on D, day D, it will be delivered on D plus 1 or D plus 2 day. If the order is not delivered at the end of two days, then the order is declared as lost at the end of the second day. If it is not delivered at the end of two days, it will be considered lost. XYZ then does not deliver the order but informs the customer, marks the order as lost, return the payment and pays a penalty for not delivery. Okay, so it, it has to deliver in two days. If it fails to deliver, it will mark it as lost. Okay, so same day is not possible. Then we are given a table. It gives the details about the operations of XYZ for a week for the last month. The first column gives the date. The second column gives the cumulative number of orders. What is cumulative number? Cumulative is total up to that date. Cumulative means total up to and including that date. Now, for example, if we are given the cumulative on 13th, right? So we cannot determine that uh, what is the, <laughs> the total uh, number of uh, orders that is booked on 13th, right? But we know that total till 13th is the given number which is 219 but for the subsequent values we can find out that how much is what is the number of uh, items that are booked like for 13 we cannot tell for 14th till 13th there were 219 bookings so subtract it we get 30 orders were booked on 14th similarly subtract this we will get 28 orders booked on 14th subtract this we will get 25 orders booked on 16 and so on we can calculate okay now third column represents the number of orders delivered on that day right? now delivered on that day would mean that there are two orders one of day 11 and another of day 12 okay similarly on 14th it will be day 12 plus day 13 this will be day 13 plus day 14 okay and so on additionally we are given the last column number of orders that were lost up to and including that day okay so on 13th there is it is saying that cumulative loss is 91 so we cannot tell that what is the loss on 13th now on 14th it is saying 92 so that means loss of 1 here similarly loss of 2 here loss of 12 here and so on now one thing to note is the loss of one that is happening on 14th it is not of the order from this it is not from 14th right the loss is after two days so that means this loss is of the order that was order on 12th Similarly, this is on order that was placed on 13th. This is on order on 14th and so on. So loss is after two days. Now, we will see that how to deal with this question that how are we going to solve it. So we will make a table like this. Now in this case, first of all, we will find the orders that were placed on particular dates. Okay. So we will use the information that we just discussed and then uh, fill this table. So we can find out that 30 orders were booked on 14th by subtracting. So we will subtract the previous one and get these values like 30, 28. Okay, so you can fill this. I'm filling it by looking at the values simultaneously. That is on 17th, you have five 
items booked on 18th again 5 and uh, so se 17th it is 25 because previous day is 5 and then 18 and 19 we will have 5 items booked each right so 14 uh, for on 14 we have 30 items then 28 25 25 5 and 5 so that is by subtracting the previous one okay now the last thing we will uh, fill carefully now this is different from what is given here now this loss as i said that it's a loss of one it is not of day 14 it is of day 12 so i will put a loss of day 12 here okay so this is slightly different from the table that was given to us so try to understand this table similarly there is a loss of 2 it will happen on it was of day 13 this loss of 12 was of day 14 this loss of 12 happened on day uh, 15 loss of 2 and loss of 9 okay so lost is not on that particular day i mean it will happen on 14 but it is of order that was placed on 12 right now another thing that we need to fill is now if 30 orders were placed on 14th and 12 were lost so that means 18 were delivered in two days in two days they will be delivered on 15th and 16th okay similarly 28 are play ordered and 12 are lost so, so we will get 16 delivered 23 items delivered 16 items delivered we cannot find for these two right so these thus far we have filled this information now we will go back to one of the information that was given in the end it says that the number of orders that were booked on 11 12 13 and took two days to deliver were 4 6 8 booked on 11 12 13 delivered two days later 4 6 8 okay now what i have mentioned here is delivered on next day delivered two days later okay so it is deliver on d1 means delivered on the next day d2 means delivered two days later now see this thing these three values are given as 4 6 8 okay now this addition we will take help of this column okay so this addition will be done using this data so we will use this column and this columns to get the values now how do we get the values is see on 13th there are 11 items delivered isn't it 11 item delivered will be of day 11 and day 12 how many items are of day 11 day 11 we have four items okay four items of day 11 given to us that two days later right so seven items will be of day 12 now where should i place this seven in this table is on day 12 Seven, 7 items of day 12 are delivered within one day. So that one day will come here. Okay. So now we have filled this information. Now this means that on 12, there were the items that were ordered on 12, a total of 13 were delivered and 14 must have been ordered on day 12. Okay. Now let us talk about uh, this thing 27. This 27 will mean day 12 and day 13, right? Now day 12 is uh, day 12 is 6 because 6 items on day 12 were delivered in 2 days, okay? So this is 6, that means day 13 would be 21, okay? So total 27 items delivered, 12, 6 from day 12 and 21 from day 13. Okay, so that means 21 items here. Now, total, uh, there is loss of 2, that means, and 29 are delivered, that means 31 items were ordered on day 30. Okay, so now we can calculate for 2 days previously also, like tw day 12 and day 30. Now, the next thing is, on day 15, we will have D13 plus D14, right? 
how many orders from D13? D13, if we see, D13, 21 items are present over here. Okay, so D13, 21 items are delivered in a day. Right, so that means the next number that we will get is <coughs> D13 has 21 items. Sorry, the, these 21 have already been filled. On day 15, we will have 8 items. Okay, 21 uh, we have filled here and 8 will be left. So, 8 are there and 15 will be of this value. Okay, so 15 means 15 will come here. D14 ke 15 items were delivered on. Uh, day 15 okay now day 14 15 items delivered here three items should be delivered next day that is total 18 items now it will be slightly easy to fill the table so initial part was tough once we get the flow you start filling the table fast now if you see uh, d uh, on day 16th some items of D14 will be delivered and day 6, 15 will be delivered. Day 14, 3 items are delivered 2 days later, that is on 16th. So, 3 items here and next will be 8. So, these this value is 8. Okay, so uh, 15th, day 15, 8 items are delivered on day 16th. So, the remaining will be 8, which will come here and this will be 13. This 13 will go here. Okay, so on this day, 13 items are uh, delivered in one day, 10 items will be delivered in two days. So, day 16 ka 10 items in two days, that means that will be delivered on day 18. On day 18, there are 13 items, so 10 and 3. So, this 3 will come here. Now, on 17th, uh, uh, one day delivery is 3 and total delivery is 16. So, 13 items will be delivered here. Okay, so 13 items delivered here means 13 items of day 17 on day 19 and one item of day 18 to be delivered here. So, day 18, one item is delivered in day 1. Rest of the information cannot be determined. So, we were able to determine that how many items that were placed on a particular day were delivered in one day or in two days using the data. So, this was a complicated table uh, and uh, it required a lot of uh, thinking to solve the set. Definitely not a one to attempt in the examination if you have not done any similar kind of problems before. Among the following days, the largest fraction of orders booked on which day was lost. Okay, So, delivered and lost. Now, if you see, lost is quite high for these two days. Okay. And on 15th, it is on 14th, lost fraction is 12 by 30 and on 15th, it is 12 by 28, right. So, clearly if you see, uh, this is the numerator is same, denominator is lower, so it will be the highest on 15. On which of the following days was the number of orders booked the highest? So, orders booked was highest on day 13th. So, that is why it was important to find out for 12 and 13, then only we could answer this question. The delivery ratio for a given day is defined as the ratio of the number of orders booked on that day that are delivered on the next day to the number of orders booked on that day that are delivered on the second day after booking. On which of the following days was the delivery ratio the highest? So, delivery ratio is defined by day 1, ratio day 2. So, if you are delivering high on day 1, that means your ratio is higher. Okay. Now, if you observe this, right, uh, 21 is delivered and 8 is delivered, fine. But if you see this 15 ratio 3, that is the highest 5 times. So, delivery ratio is highest for day 14. The average time taken to deliver orders booked on a particular day is computed as follows. Let the number of orders delivered the next day be x and the number of orders delivered the day after be y. Then the average time to deliver an order is x plus 2y upon x plus y. On which of the following days was the average time taken to deliver ordered booked 
the least. So average time is given by x plus 2y upon x plus y. So can be done as x plus y plus y upon x plus y. So this part is 1. So 1 plus y upon x plus y. Now 1 is constant. So we need to see this part. We have to find the least. So least will happen then y is less and x is more. Okay. So like the previous question wherein uh, if you deliver maximum in day 1, right? For example, if you clearly see the value of this is the value of x, this is the value of y. So x is quite high, y is very low. Okay. If you take other values, you will definitely get like, uh, see, this is the same thing that we are doing. Okay. So if you see this ratio, what, what we did in the previous question, it is exactly the same. There we were comparing x upon y. Here we are comparing y upon x plus y. So definitely this is very low and this is high. You can do manual calculation also, but not needed. Just understand logically that y is just 13 and x plus y is 18, which is 1 by 6. But if you take, let's say, 8 by 21, right? So 8 by 29, that is definitely more than 1 by 6. So this is not the answer. The answer is again going to be day 14 only. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.